Racer to MTI Racing. I guarantee you've noticed some pretty big changes around here. And one of the big changes that we think will elevate everything that we're doing here at MTI Racing is MTI Machine. MTI Machine is a new company that we're starting that's going to be a standalone company that works with MTI Racing and outside customers and outside shops to provide engine services. Machining, balancing, design, R&D, dyno testing, flow bench testing, machine iterations, computer programming, uh, computer modeling of engines. And if you look around, you'll see there's a lot of really cool equipment here. Some you may know what it does, some you may not. But basically, all the machine work that we've brought in here this year will, will allow MTI Racing to bring all engine machining and fabrication and assembly in-house. Now, if you're traveling Corvette circles and you know in-depth Corvette shops around the country, you'll know that there's only about three other shops in the entire United States that do that. Callaway, K-Tech, and Lingenfeld. Uh, there's a lot of Corvette shops, uh, I think about 5,000 last count around the country. But I, of that 5,000, there's only been three that actually do from beginning to end engine processes. And we have spent a great deal of money to try to be, um, not only just to join that company, but also to constantly improve. If anybody's known me for very long, you know, April marks the beginning of our 16th year at MTI Racing. So. For 15 years of my life, I pretty much dedicated uh, all my time and energy into making MTI the best Corvette facility in the world, or as good as we can make. And I felt very strongly for some time that one of the key aspects of being able to do that was to bring all of our engine uh, programs in-house. Not just for MTI, but also for outside companies as well. So we are actually going out and soliciting outside business from other shops and other individuals to actually do their machine work. Because we've, uh, we've got the greatest equipment that exists on the market today for high performance automotive engines. Uh, if you know much about stuff over here in the, in the corner of this big red machine from Italy, it's a Surti valve station that does valve, seat, and guide work for the cylinder heads. Uh, the mill behind us with, has a million different uses, milling cylinder, uh, milling cylinder heads, milling pistons, making brackets you can make all kinds of trinkets and brackets and uh, modified pieces, make prototypes, it's a very versatile tool. Right here is a Sun and Engine Balancer. Uh, Sun and Engine Balancer, this is probably one of the coolest pieces of machinery that we have. It actually is a Windows-based, computer-driven engine balancer that will mock up the rotating assembly of an engine and then not only tell you about how to balance that engine, but if you need to add weight or subtract weight, it'll tell you where, how, how deep to drill, and how much to add. It really has uh, the latest sophistication in engine balancing. In fact, when you're running the machine, you actually have to stand still because it'll pick up reverberations through the floor. It's so sensitive while you're running it. Very accurate machine. Over here, cap grinding station, valve grinding station, so we are complete our valve grinding stuff. Back behind you here is a sun and rod station where we recondition all of our cylinder heads. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, recondition all of our connecting rods. Uh, this big white behemoth right here is a sun and V616's um, engine hone. This is what hones out the cylinders and makes all the key difference in ring seal engine life, how much horsepower that you can make. That's a very uh, up-to-date piece of equipment that's the same machine that you'll find at Hendrix, Childress, Roush, Yates, uh, all the top NASCAR teams use this exact machine. Behind that is the Peterson line hone. That aligns the, hone, uh, the main saddles and the cam tunnels of the, of the blocks, not just for LS blocks, for small block Fords, Lamborghini, Ferrari. I mean, anything that has a reciprocating engine, uh, it works on that. And then the big behemoth around the corner here in the blue is also an Italian machine. That's a Comec bore mill. That's like the final stage process where after the engine's got all of its basic machining done, it'll have the decking and the checking of lifter bores and, and final processes. All right, so like I said, the reason we've taken this huge step is because we wanted to try to bring as many processes in-house as we could to augment what we 